Hi there, my name is Frank and I'm going to lead you through a couple of modules using MESA, uh, modules for experiments in stellar astrophysics, on how to customize PG star, which is the graphical output of MESA, for your particular model. Uh, and in this first module we're going to get set up on running a particular problem and let's go ahead and get started doing that. So throughout these modules I'm going to use some color notation. Things we have to do are given in yellow, such as task. MESA specific terms are given in orange, such as inlist uh, underscore pg star. We're going to be playing with that particular file a lot. And then general text is given in white or in green. For example, our first task is to download the approximately 9.5 megabyte file. Uh, it's a MESA work directory from mesastar.org and the full URL is given there. But the easiest thing to do, so let's go ahead and do that, the easiest thing to do is just to go over to mesastar.org. You will be greeted with uh, a web page that looks like this. And to get the Mesa work directory we're going to be using, you go to teaching materials, go ahead and click on that. Slide down to the edge and end of the page and you'll see the 2014 Mesa Summer School. Go ahead and click on that. First directory up will be Timmy's. Go ahead and click on that. And then we want the file mesa underscore ss underscore 2014 underscore Timmy's dot zip. So go ahead and click on that. In my case, this file downloads to the desktop. So you can see it downloading there. Got it. Go ahead and unzip the file at this point. And on my desktop, there is our mesa working directory. So let's go back to our instructions. So we did that task. We unzipped it, we already did that. And now we want to go to the terminal and we want to issue the two commands given there. One is just cd into the directory and the other is to issue the dot slash make command which is going to build the executable that we're going to use uh, to build our customized PG star. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm over here on a terminal on my desktop. I'm going to cd into this particular directory. There we go. And we're going to issue the make command to go ahead and build the executable. The assumption here is that you have a working version of Mesa. Uh, in this case I'm using the official release 6794 to build this local executable. And we built without any issues. So back to our guidance. So we did that. And the last thing we need to do to get set up is to load a particular uh, mod file. In this case, each of these mod files is for a 9.5 solar metallicity star. Uh, the different values here refer to the different rotation rates, the initial rotation rate, omega over omega crit. So we got uh, 9P5M, that's the mass, and then 0P001 is uh, uh, the initial rotation, a relatively slow rotator there, and 0 0.002, 0 0.010, um, and so on. So each of these models was run from the zero age main sequence uh, up to the point where you're going to get a carbon ignition in the carbon core uh, uh, right at the ignition point, and we're going to want to load those. So our task uh, is to open endless underscore star in your editor. You can pick any of these models that you want, and then you're going to change the parameter inside the endless PG star uh, saved underscore model underscore name equals ezz dot mod uh, to whatever else you like. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to bounce back over to the terminal. We'll do an ls. So you can see the dot mod files in the directory. And other than that, it's a pretty straightforward MESA work directory. So I'm going to pick the 0 0.002 rotation rate. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to use Emacs, but you can use whatever editor you like. So we want endless underscore star. There's the save model. Why don't we erase that? Insert whatever of the dot mod you want. Go ahead and save it. Get out. And we are now done with getting the problem set up. In the subsequent mod modules, we're going to talk about uh, a little bit about what this problem is, so you know what the plots are that, c that come up. And then we're going to start building the different types of plots we want, and finally we'll end up with a customized grid tuned specifically for this problem. 
Thanks, and I'll see you in the next module.